We're doing it in virtual reality. We're doing it as Leon. Leon S. Kennedy is the greatest video game character of all time, which is why it deeply saddens me to bring you Leon must die mode. The attack on masculinity is absolutely happening in the video game industry. I know it's a controversial topic and I know a lot of people don't believe it. So I'm letting you know now I have a cinematic intro. After that intro, I'm going to pop back up on the screen, talk more about it. Really good to see everybody. This is an entertainment video, by the way. So let your hair down a little bit. Enjoy. <laughs> Dark side does not like the toxic alpha male. They don't want you playing as Leon S. Kennedy, and they absolutely don't want you inside the headset, inside the action, playing as Leon S. Kennedy. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> <laughs> they keep coming. movies and TV are dead. We don't get characters like Leon anymore. That's what we're here to talk about. The infection, the Las Plagas in the video game has come into real life. We have a whole video breaking this down for you, so don't go anywhere if you need to get red-pilled, or don't go anywhere if you don't own a virtual reality headset yet. I made this content extra cinematic while we talk about why I think virtual reality can add so much to a person's gaming setup. But go yourself. This video is intended to help already existing fans appreciate Leon and the game even more while introducing the new generation of gamers to the true Leon S. Kennedy. Maybe we can even get one or two grandparents, game in Resident Evil 4, game in Leon, who are tired of how expensive it is to go out in the current year and also tired of Hollywood and Holly Weird not delivering any quality characters or entertainment enjoy the intro i've been working on this idea for a while and i am pleased to finally give you what i consider the most important resident evil video of all time we're talking about leon we're talking about the people that want leon dead we have some elon musk for you we have some current events we're talking about more than just gaming we're uncovering the secrets of the future and using leon s kennedy to save the world in real life we all know leon s kennedy ain't going down without a fight leave a like video if you agree and enjoy stay tuned for a special outro for the true resident evil fans the true gamers and the true americans you want to get ugly let's get ugly welcome to resident evil 4 leon must die mode they gave us the game we want capcom gave us a great remake of resident evil 4 they also reintroduced leon s kennedy the right way in resident evil 2 they came back with a vengeance wowing everybody with resident evil 7 the power storytelling the relationship between ethan winters and mia his girlfriend all of it was awesome capcom has been delivering a little less and less these days but now they also want characters like Leon S. Kennedy dead. <laughs> Diversity, equity, and inclusion. D-E-I, A-K-A, die. September 30th, 1998. You might think you like Leon, but think, do you really like Leon? We all know people like Leon S. Kennedy, but I ask if people really like Leon S. Kennedy because Leon's a masculine character, he's a hero, and part of the attack on masculinity is that the gamers, especially the male gamers, seem to not care that it's happening. They go out of their way to minimize it or even defend it with talking points about the masculine characters we still have. This is true, we have them, but they're mostly coming out of third-party studios. Major games media and PlayStation themselves do not like these characters. I have a video talking about it it's my disgusting thumbnail how major games media essentially wants to threaten lawsuits on reporters and gamers who are complaining about their activism within the industry. It is absolutely disgusting, just like the thumbnail says. Check it out. I also have my rant on masculinity, which ironically features Andy Pants Gaming, the guy who made the popular video 
who killed masculinity in video games and it just goes to show a lot of people don't really care about this stuff he's been exposed as a fake and his fans are still very loyal to him it's all clown reality out there that's why i got virtual reality content on my channel and a real world example is how kamala harris even with her worst polling data has about a 40 percent chance of winning the presidential election and her and her vp tim waltz want tampons in the boys bathroom they also possibly want to force wokeness with our tax money in home entertainment and wokeness is literally an attack on masculinity as well as femininity it's an attack on reality on top of that we all know the president is a man's job if a woman is going to do it it should be a woman who at least knows how to define what a woman is protecting the president is also a man's job we all know that shit wouldn't happen in pennsylvania with the attempt on trump's life if Leon S. Kennedy was on duty that day. In this game, we're basically Secret Service. I'm going to be showing the intro more later. Leon's the man in there. He's saving the president's daughter. He's a true hero. That's why they hate him. The Resident Evil and Virtual Reality Paradox. It's mostly the Resident Evil Paradox. I have a video on it that people love Leon S. Kennedy, but they hate the people that are like Leon S. Kennedy in real life the true patriots, the people of good value. I'm showing you a short I did real quick on Resident Evil promoting virtuality to more people. Immediately my comments got hit by people like, you need to get help, this is embarrassing. How people are comfortable and have been comfortable throwing around these crazy words, demonizing people and just the radical left-wing ideology. Same reason why people in control of entertainment are comfortable not promoting virtuality or giving it credit it deserves. And there's a big coordination of just wokeness and certain stuff in gaming and even in flat screen right now. So we're going to leave the flat screen out of it. I'm just going to focus on virtual reality. He dropped out! This is part of my Resident Evil, President Evil series. PSVR 2 gamers don't like me. They don't want to get red pilled. I thought maybe virtual reality is the more based way to game, but that doesn't change that virtual reality is the crack of home entertainment. Level up your home entertainment if you don't game in virtual reality. Check it out if you need to spice up your gaming. Subscribe to support virtual reality if you own a PSVR 2. All I'm talking about is gaming healthy, saving American values inside virtual reality because the woke elites are selling us out inside regular reality the culture war is not a guarantee and especially not the gamers they're not as based as you think the people that are based the hardcore circles the people that follow the news we're all based we know what's going on guys they say it's it's embarrassing that this is happening that these people are so triggered by virtual reality content because they're so weak in regular reality that's what's embarrassing this stuff is going on let me know how you feel about it let me know if you think uh, i'm clown reality if you're embarrassed for these people People denying reality selling out their own people by the way the fact that your neighbors are selling you out is why virtual entertainment is for more people they're indoctrinating everything support your values inside the headset inside the action the most patriotic psvr2 content you've ever seen is on this channel if you're one of the soys that's already getting upset and you're a willful woke demon you're committed you're not on the fence about the propaganda markets and my content isn't helping you and you're not one of the base gamers who wants to go into the future of fun i'm not here to get into a political argument or a dispute with you but i will say this one thing that i think takes everything else off the table the jacket leon's wearing the jacket we all know a liberal couldn't pull off that jacket and at least not looking that good in it i'm showing elon musk wearing a jacket similar i got a jacket similar go f yourself Go yourself. Is that clear? There's plenty of incidents and pictures. I'm just using Elon Musk because he's going to appear later in the video and he just came out recently and endorsed Trump. He's always been hinted at it, but he finally came out and said it after the attempt. More Americans should feel comfortable admitting how they feel, in my opinion. Leon's going to help. We have special celebrity this guests in good. this episode and a tweet from Elon Musk show how Capcom and many other entertainment agencies have joined the dark side. We do things differently. Like the video, I'm a small YouTuber. If you like the video, I'd really appreciate it. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, 
but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time it can be different. It has to. The infection, the lost Plagas in the video game has come into real life. We're going to be talking about later in the video what it represents. we got a couple surprises planned. It's good to see you. This ain't no baby paper mission, by the way. We're saving the president's daughter. We're somewhere in Spain. The atmosphere is incredible. The guns feel incredible. It's a picture of the president's daughter. We're doing big boy stuff. We're in here saving America, saving the world. Saving the pandemic, saving uh, saving her from the island at the end of chapter there three, you if you know what I mean, people. They keep coming. This is Leon must die mode because true heroes like Leon unfortunately are not looked up to in the current day and I even feel there is much hypocrisy within the Leon S. Kennedy fandom and the Resident Evil player base who enjoy the games in the series while at the same time actively pushing against the values Leon represents, the same values that characters like Chris Redfield and Ethan Winters also represent. Check out my Sorry, feminist like vampires this. attack in Resident Evil 8. It's an awesome video. Let's face the facts. The facts are that some gamers are not going to like, that apparently half of the citizens of America are not going to like, that Leon is a true patriot, a former police officer, a man with traditional values who is not inside Resident Evil 4, save in America so it can get sold out to the woke, communist, radical politics that have grasped power in America and around the world, and he did not intend for a world where Ethan Winter's daughter might be made trans by Capcom in Resident Evil 9. Capcom's the game developer behind Resident Evil and has joined the dark side, the side that no longer likes the all-American hero. This channel is dedicated to breaking the propaganda markets on traditional conservative values in America and breaking the propaganda markets in America on virtual reality. We game virtual. We game alpha. I say we game alpha because it's alpha to love yourself. It's alpha to love the country and it's alpha to game health. If you do have a habit like gaming, plus we all know Leon S. Kennedy games virtual in real life. He's not playing flat screen. If you need some background information about how DEI and things that we are going to talk about with the celebrities and Elon Musk and the anti-American woke agenda that's happening please the modern audience check out my death threats have been sent to kim cheadle head of the secret service inside virtual reality to see how diversity equity and inclusion almost got president trump killed if leon was protecting the president that day we all know that shit would never have happened leon is the goat that's why i made the secret service reference earlier in the video leon's also in my resident evil president evil content talking about how the democratic establishment the celebrity elites and the liberal media propaganda networks and joe biden himself have been selling out america to high inflation a terrible economy and housing market all while telling americans it's not happening and brainwashing the citizens into being america last and living hand in hand with the rainbow nose ring mafia or they are a threat to democracy racist sexist etc you know the deals capcom just changed some things in their dead rising remaster to be more racially sensitive they took out some anti-communist dialogue and all that trash that these entertainment companies are doing i could go on about it all and all the game developers who are doing it and all the consulting firms who are encouraging them to do it and then in my opinion all of the gamers that are allowing it to happen without pushing back on it this is a good time to tell you about one of my video ideas sweet baby inc 
aka Sweet Baby Kink, is one of the political activist agencies that are known to get their hands in the pot with game developers that don't even want them there through coercion or threat of not financing games. It's political, it's dirty, just like a lot of things in the world. That's why people don't understand, like, this is a politics and gaming channel, but these first party studios and PlayStation and Xbox are also political and gaming companies. It's part of the foundation of my red pill content is to help people see that. They don't want to see that as we discussed earlier in the video or they just don't care. They think it's not a big deal, but virtual reality was never promoted the right way because of these people. So I'm going to be doing a video when I get it out talking about making the headset, the new gang set, how good the guns feel, how awesome the military shooters are, how awesome the driving games are. I'm having trouble getting my channel off the ground but I'm also not going to compromise myself or my opinion to be more palatable and get views I want to bring virtual reality therapy to greater America subscribe to my channel if you like my content and want to see me again why did you come to this horrible place that's close to nowhere that I've ever seen came here to save America let's just say looking for someone that someone must be very important then huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then. Should be just another day in the office, right? Hmm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> I think this is it. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke? Vaya sitio más tétrico. ¡Eh! ¿Hay alguien ahí? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Leon S. Kennedy, baby. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. Awesome. We're doing it in virtual reality. We're doing it as Leon S. Kennedy in the shoes, inside the headset, in the eye, the action. I'm showing you a clip uh, of the celebrity appearance from part one of the full walkthrough and that's going to help us address the tweet from elon musk that we're going to get to uh, which i think just really illustrates where america's at and where entertainment 
is at and i think it's kind of the uh i think it's gonna highlight the whole video so thank you for staying tuned i uh, look forward to that and it's really good to see you guys i'm really excited about this walkthrough if you guys are excited for it i love virtual reality i can't say it enough i really believe in virtual reality i really believe in leon s kennedy i believe in resident evil 4 i have so much more fun playing this game and replaying it more so than some of the new stuff that's coming out if you like me if you like my personality you like uh virtual reality now you own a headset you want to support the channel or you just uh, want to see the crazy gamer go through the game because movies and tv are dead whatever it is uh, i'm going to be doing a full playthrough subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate it. support a small youtuber it's the policia <sighs> 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 This is not good. I personally like my pistol more on the side, so I move it over to here. And look how awesome this thing looks inside VR, inside the game. You can grab it, move it around. I like to have it back here. There we go. So now that we have our weapons, let's take a second. 60 second clip to show the type of guy that Leon is not in real life and the type of people that we don't want the type of people selling out Leon hey everybody good morning here I am in downtown Chicago at the corner of East Grand and West Grand and I just decided that I need to get out and start campaigning for Kamala Harris for president I got back from overseas yesterday and I was gonna head home and be with my beautiful wife and my gorgeous children. And then I remembered that I fashioned myself some sort of a leader, at least in my own mind. And the only kind of leadership that means anything anymore is leadership by example. So I'm gonna head over to, uh, to Indiana, my old stomping ground where Christine, my wife, uh, where she's from and where I've spent so much time. And did you know that it shares a border with Michigan? Interesting. Stay tuned. Samwise Gambit has fallen from Lord of the Rings. Samwise Gambit, Samwise Gamgee, whatever it is, he's selling us out. This was Rudy, the underdog, man. The, and he's not rooting for Donald Trump, the guy who took a bullet for this country. Well, communist Kamala Harris took a dick and Joe Biden took a nap. The celebrity elites are selling us out to an America last agenda and pushing the rainbow mafia propaganda in our entertainment let's save leon s kennedy i'm showing elon musk's tweet that's going to say it better than i ever could about how pathetic it is what's happening in hollywood holly weird and it's going to prove that the gamers are the resistance especially the virtual reality gamers we are the heroes we can save american entertainment we can save american culture we can break the propaganda markets in america using the heroes we have in video games it's going poorly concord Dustborn, all that stuff. They even had a government grant for a woke game, and Sony's pushing games we don't want. They're attacking developers, giving us good valued, high quality games. It's all embarrassing. It's all covered in my content. Give me a like and a comment, even if virtual entertainment's not for you, but you enjoyed the video. I'd really appreciate it. Help me get the entertainment to new people. It might even be for somebody in your family. I'm going to be talking about crazy virtual reality content all over the place on this channel. We game polished and we talk presidential. It's getting to Elon Musk. It gets perfect. He said it so good. You watched the Hunger Games and sided with the resistance. You watched Star Wars and sided with the resistance. You watched the Matrix and sided with the resistance you watched divergent and sided with the resistance you watched v for vendetta and sided with the resistance when it's fiction you understand yet you refuse to see it when it is the reality you are living in wild we know that half our neighbors are not as brainwashed by the propaganda as it first seemed it's so obvious 
your neighbors like selling out American heroes and American values. I know there's some people on the fence about the propaganda markets or don't want to admit it's going on. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let's help those gamers, a new community and crack content for the already based gamers or the gamers that want to get based and go into the future of fun gaming community for the crack multiplayer games at 500 subscribers gran turismo 7 pavlov uh the military shooter even crossfire it's all just immersive action it's the better way to game it's the healthy way to spend your time stop watching the mainstream propaganda let's help these guys get off the mainstream propaganda watching these long live streams and stuff like that get inside the headset support your values game healthy before i tell you about the best content on my channel i'm leaving you an info card for my psvr2 and virtual reality essentials it's mostly crack gameplay not too much news or opinion i have a patriotic psvr2 essentials playlist that's really fun it has some news and opinion in there but on my essentials playlist where it's just the gameplay the star wars video is awesome alpha male set sail on in a fisherman's tale is a really good video check it out if you need really interesting virtual reality content from somebody who's counterculture non-mainstream my ethan winters resident evil 8 content is absolutely phenomenal it's cinematic it's highly edited made with love to help people find the entertainment or appreciate it more who already own a psvr2 this video kind of gave you the gist about why i'm doing a no more heroes playthrough they're selling out our heroes so if you want to jump right into part two you can because part one has a little bit of an extended intro i also have an incredible video virtual reality meets regular reality true life psychological horror featuring silent hill 2 the flat screen game and organ quarter the virtual reality game there's a medical table in there it's a body horror game and i ask people to imagine themselves as the evil doctor it's a gender ideology psychological horror that i did the storytelling is awesome people downvoted it they don't like it people don't like me because i am the truth check out that video you know what i'm talking about the videos i am linking you to my metal gear solid into the radius video it has my best storytelling if you might find it really interesting it talks about using metal gear and solid snake to build the virtual army and launch the virtual revolution and the entertainment renaissance even if it's not happening on psvr2 i am dedicated and i will make it happen on pc i'll be gaming psvr2 leon s kenny for the rest of my life resident evil 4 is worth the cost of the headset alone with how much it is to go out the other thing I'm linking you to is the Dark America Virtual Reality National Anthem. It is absolutely bonkers. Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun, American flags over crossfire military action. Literally the most patriotic virtual reality video of all time. Stay tuned for Sweet Baby Ink, Sweet Baby Kink, Death Threats and Virtual Reality, and more crack content to come. I might throw out a red pill video here or there, even though the gamers don't like it. It helps me sleep at night. I'm really worried about America. And uh, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out The White Gamer. If you're a black gamer, in my virtual reality dark america national anthem video i link you to a playlist making the headset the new gang set it's awesome guys check it out not a playlist a video either way i'll see you inside the headset inside the action stay out of cackling kamala harris reality it's way too overpriced way too unsafe and way too unclean i'm taking america virtual i'll see you in virtual reality as far as the uh the people that are infected and the lost plaga you know what it is it's the woke mind virus in real life in part two leon's gonna get jabbed by the big muscular boss and he basically gets a forced uh injection of the ouchy sauce so the the pandemic the lost plagos plague is going to be the woke mind virus and then the 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 thing is going to be like the 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 you know the coof uh sauce and stuff like that we're gonna make a joke about it and uh just show how the government's screwing us over and they're basically the democratic party in the uh resident evil 4 video game it's perfect for political parody i'm the marketing for psvr2 that a lot of the gamers complain sony doesn't have so even if you don't like me subscribe to the channel it will help the headset